We've just heard so many amazing things of what God is doing in Bloemfontein. How did you hear about this? Where did it all start? I was with Brian and Graham Tower and his wife Lauren and we were sitting there and then a phone call came through from, from Angus talking to Graham because they're very good friends and they talk and they prayed about what must take place in, in South Africa and then Graham told him the decision has been made the 22nd of April in Bloemfontein. A large gathering, one million from people. Mom Angus told yeah, from Mom Angus. Now yeah. told told Graham told that, Graham. yeah. So that was quite uh, quite exciting to hear that. And then Graham turned to me and said, "How busy am I? Can I? Uh, do I know about property?" And immediately, as they were talking, my inner spirit, I saw the specific venue mm -hmm. right there. We went to look at the, the specific property, and everybody agreed. And that was amazing that there was total agreement mm -hmm. that that is the place. God uh, actually prepared this place. And something about the place is called Wilde Als. You'll find it's a plant, an uh, original plant they used for medical purposes. Wow. For healing. for healing. There must be so many miracle stories around this event. Uh, one of the farmers, in fact, on the opposite of this area, on the northern side, uh, he started uh, to get involved very much and he helped to get more more uh, roads through farms for wow. coming from the highways etc so he, i think he opened about three new roads going through farmers farms where farmers say okay let's uh, let's make a road and somebody found me and says oh, do that people the people working they need food we want to bring them food yeah so i said yes i'm sure everyone gets thirsty and uh, i read later on that they went there and they took some food and drinks just um, as an initiative out of themselves. Wow. I've got a friend that uh, he's got two helicopters just given, available, to be working on his cost. So he's not even charging wow. for that. Amazing. To, to help with traffic, to help dropping people from Tempe down to the site, etc., to do air, uh, 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 everything. So there's a lot of people just willing to help, people coming from far away to try to assist the whole event. What do you feel an event like this can contribute to the transformation of South Africa? God is going to be there that day. I believe the effect is going to be enormous for this country. Be there and even if you can't be there, pray the same time. Because that is the calling to pray to God, to turn uh, towards God. And I think that is the most amazing thing that this country can one day be back to turning back to God and we can have a peaceful country and a lot of good things happening in South Africa. I think what is very important that it's not only about praying on that day. Many people ask, what about the next day? What about the 23rd and the 24th? Sure. But if we really come to Him and we repent and we pour our hearts out uh, as people together, not this type of group or that type of group or this church, then we can start to be salt and light. Isn't that exciting to see that God has been on the move a long time ago setting up an event like this for South Africa to be transformed. South Africa, it's time.